Hi everyone, it's Mimi and Kevin. Uh, we just did a, a Martin Luther King Day read aloud because today is his birthday. Well, it's the day we celebrate his birthday. Actually, today is his birthday, but you won't see it till the day after, which is the, the federal holiday for Martin Luther King Day. Now we're going to do a little fun activity here. Have you ever played the game Hangman? Yes. Okay, so in Hangman, if you've never played before, somebody comes up with a word and they just kind of make the, the dashes for the, the spaces for how many letters are in the word. And if you guess correctly, you fill in the letters in the word. If you guess incorrectly, then they draw a person. And if they complete the person, you're out and you lost. Well, we're going to do the opposite here. I have, oops. <laughs> My little uh, drawing of Martin Luther King. Oops. Oh no. It um. fell apart. <laughs> right now, we just have the head. So we are going to do this where I'm going to ask Kevin some questions about Martin Luther King and his life. And if he gets it correct, he gets to put on a, a piece of his body, whether it's his hair, his, his jacket. This is his... weird. <laughs> okay. And the goal is to get all of the pieces on before we run out of questions. Okay. You can also play this in a classroom or with a bunch of people competing against each other and see who can get the correct answers in the quickest amount of time. Or I'm sorry, who can get, let's say, let's see how many parts we have. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Who can get um, seven questions answered correctly first because I have a whole bunch of questions. All right, so let's start. All righty. When do we celebrate his birthday in January? Is it the first Monday in January, the second Monday in January, the third Monday in January, or the fourth Monday in January? The fourth. <laughs> it's the third Monday in January. When is his birthday? January 16th. Ooh. That'll be the third Monday in January. That's when we're going to celebrate it. But when's his actual birthday? I said it's today. I don't know the date. We're not doing very well here, are we? All right, let's try again. Martin Luther King Jr. helped organize the 1963 March on Washington to do what? To protest against how blacks were treated. What did he do there though? It was very famous. A speech. Which speech? I have a dream. There you go. Okay. So why don't we put on his coat first? Give him some clothing. Yeah. Okay. Bruce. There we go. Perfect. In what location in Washington, D.C. was the I Have a Dream speech given from? Was it the Washington Monument, Grant's Tomb, the White House, or the Lincoln Memorial? The Washington Monument. It was the steps of the Lincoln Memorial. Mm. Yeah. In what city in Alabama did Martin Luther King lead the bus boycotts? Was it Montgomery, Alabama? Nashville, Alabama, Mobile, Alabama, or Memphis, Alabama? Well, Memphis and Nashville are in Texas, so we can knock those two out. So it would be Montgomery. Actually, Memphis and Nashville are in, not in Texas. They're in Tennessee. Ooh. But you did get the answer right. It is Montgomery, Alabama. Well, so Tennessee and Texas are basically the same thing. Here, why don't we put one of his collars on? Okay, put it on the right side. Or on this the left side, I should say. Okay, just line it right up. Perfect. All right. What grades did Martin Luther King skip? Was it second and fifth grade, eighth and ninth grade, ninth and twelfth grade, or sixth and eleventh grade? Sixth and eleventh. He did, uh, he, he actually skipped ninth and twelfth grade. Now, since he skipped two grades, how old was he when he started college? 17. 
that's usually the age you do start college. Oh. So if he skipped two grades. 15. He was 15. Um, okay. Martin Luther King had a high school diploma, a heart condition, a hole in one, or a doctorate degree. A doctorate degree? A doctorate degree. Well, it's in his name, Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. And that no, is, not a medical doctor. That is correct. Very good. So uh, we already did this one. What are his most famous words? Is it one small step for man, one giant step for mankind? Nothing but net. I have a dream. Or I believe in magic. I have a dream. I have a dream. Okay. He was jailed for peaceful demonstrations how many times? Was it 14 times, 29 times, 8 times, or 10 times? 14. It was 29 times. That's excessive. It is. And all he was doing was you know, uh, doing things peacefully. He was never violent in yeah, like any he, of his he demonstrations. Didn't, he didn't destroy federal property. He didn't hurt anybody. No. Nope. He didn't, you know, um, knock somebody out. So therefore, he shouldn't go to jail. You know, no. it's not against the law. Who was his wife? Do you remember her name? <sighs> Melissa? <laughs> Coretta Scott King. <laughs> no. Oh. It was not Melissa. How many children did he have? And it's right in the beginning of the speech, or in the speech somewhere, of I Have a Dream. Three? Close. Four. Oh. I hope you're getting an education here. He should be. What notable event happened to Dr. King in 1963? This one I bet you don't know. I didn't know this. He got assassinated? No, he became Time Magazine's Man of the Year. Ew. Where was he assassinated? Memphis, Tennessee. That is correct. Do you know where it was, though? In like, a motel. Very good. Yes, right outside the, the motel. Well, I mean... Nicely done. Now, he was awarded... Let me see. Um... Martin Luther King was awarded which medals after he died? Can you name one of them? The Nobel Prize? No, that was while he was alive. Oh. This was after he died, uh. posthumously. Or posthumously. Uh. He actually received the Medal of Freedom and the Congressional Gold Medal. Oh. Here's another fact that you may or may not know. Where in Europe is there a statue of Martin Luther King located? Russia. Mm, I don't know about that. I don't think so. Um, Germany. I'm looking for a specific place in Europe, not just a country. Uh, Moscow. Actually, it's in Westminster, Westminster Abbey. What year was Martin Luther King Jr. Day established as a U.S. federal holiday. The day after assassination. No, many many years later. Nineteen twenty. Nineteen eighty-six. Oh. Martin Luther King was the youngest person to receive. Was it a Purple Heart, a Grammy? Nobel Peace Prize or the key to the city? Well, I know that the Purple Hearts from military and he was in the, he wasn't in the military, so it had to be no, no Nobel Peace Prize. Peace Prize. Yes. Yes, which would make sense since he always fought peacefully, correct? Right. All right. The stash. Yes, he needs a mustache. Mm -hmm. All right. He needs some hair, so let's see if we can get him some. Oof. You got to answer something question. Oh. What? How old was Dr. King when he won the Nobel Peace Prize? And he was the youngest one at the time to receive this ever. I'm going to say in his teens? 19? No. He was 35. Oh. Mm -hmm. Well, when you say young, I think, oh, under 20. Yes, but you have to do stuff 
in order to earn these prizes. Yeah. And if he's only 19, I don't know how much he could have done before then to have earned such a prestigious prize, but maybe. Do you know where he received his PhD in theology from? What school? What's theology? Theology, I believe, is the study of, um, of God, I believe. Oh, it's like or study like, of religion, lore? I believe it is the study of religion, but I could be wrong. I'm going to double check. Well, I, I, I would say it's the study of religious lore, right? Okay, well, what college did he receive that in? Princeton. Actually, it was Boston University. Hmm. What did Dr. King receive on October 14th, 1964? The Nobel Peace Prize? Do you know why? Civil rights? He was combating racial inequality through nonviolent means, right? Sit-ins, boycotts, things like that. And if you're not sure what a boycott is... It's... Oh. Um, it's, so let's say um, a certain ethnic group isn't allowed to ride a bus and you believe that that group should have the right to ride the bus. You would boycott the bus, meaning you won't ride it. Do you know how long they boycotted the bus for? Four years? No, it was over a year, a little over a year. Oh. What was happening was blacks and whites could not sit in the same section of the bus. And if... Even if blacks were in the back and whites were in the front, if there was no more room for whites, they'd ask a black person to stand up and give up their seat for someone that was not of color. So what they decided to do was they just decided, I'm not going to ride the bus anymore. You're not going to get my money. And eventually you're going to go out of business because if you don't have our money, so they would walk miles and miles and miles to get to work or to wherever they had to go. And this went on for over a year. So eventually the bus companies and they made it all um, integrated. They integrated the buses. They won that one, but it took over a year to win that fight, but it was peaceful. They didn't use guns. They didn't use bad words. They just, decided not to take the bus. Martin Luther King taught us that great victories could be won without the use of what? Violence. He got it right. I didn't even have to give the answer choices. So we've completed him. I'm hoping that you learned a lot from the read aloud earlier so you can complete him a lot quicker than Kevin did. I bet you can, Ooh. right? Well, I hope you enjoyed this. <laughs> I hope you got an education. Yes. All right. And we will see you soon at Kids Stories and More. Have a great holiday weekend. If you are in the U.S., you probably do not have school to, uh, today. And I'm hoping you're enjoying your time with your family and doing something kind for someone else because that was the reason for this holiday, right? Right. Kindness over violence. Yes? Yes. All right. We'll see you soon. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. And there he is, complete.